Hi, I'm Nefer. And I'm Nefrite, and this means beautiful in Egyptian languages. Both men and women wore eye paint and wigs on special occasions to make themselves more beautiful <laughs> and attractive. Wherever they lived, Egyptians usually ate well. Vegetables and fruits grew well along the Nile River. The river also provided good catches of fish. However, cropland was so precious that very little of it was used to raising animals. Therefore, Egyptians ate meat only on special occasions. So we have some examples of our daily food. This is some green beans that we grew along the Nile. We have Nile. oranges, apples, and some bread. And this is made from wheat. And we don't have any meat here because it's rare. It's rare. It was very hot in ancient Egypt. That's why most Egyptians lived in houses built from brick from the Nile mud. Egyptian homes were designed to help people stay cool in the desert heat. They built thick walls and small windows to keep burning sun out during the day. I am very sad. My husband, the pharaoh, just died. It's okay, Nefer. It all happens. He will get buried in one of these. It's called a pyramid. It is a giant tomb in a triangular form. He will enter the underworld, or the world of the dead, or afterlife, or life after death. A mummy is a, is a body preserved by a special process. He is going to be wrapped up in one of these. I'm really sad, and so is she. Egyptians worshipped, worshipped hundreds of gods, many of whom were associated with animals. Statues or other works of art often show a god with the, with the head of a body of a lion, a crocodile, or some other creatures. Egyptians believed that gods, that gods shared the same qualities of these animals. The most important god was Amon Re, the sun god. Egyptians believed that Amon Re made a daily journey across the sky. Each night he died in the west, and the land grew dark each morning. He was Reuben in the east, and sun rose. Egyptians also built these tombs in honor of their gods, and they worshipped the gods of these. Egyptians were skilled artisans as well as builders. Much of what we know about life in Egypt comes from the paintings found of the walls of tombs. Although these paintings show Egyptians at work and play, their purpose was not decoration. The paintings were created to provide the person buried in the tomb with all the objects and, and pleasure shown on the walls. This is an example of some of the artwork found on the tomb. See, they're working. And there's some birds and animals, and there's tombs and people building. Yeah, these are some, these are some tombs they have. Okay, so good look. You can look closely. Okay. Thank you. John and Deborah Darnell discovered an ancient tablet or picture carved into the side of a cliff. The Darnells believe that carvings showed the victory of a legendary ruler. We do feel that this is the earliest known historical document, said John Darnell. It may not be 100% writing, but the tableau is, ab is able to, Im to communicate the who, what, when, where of the event. Now, here is an example of ancient Egyptian writing. This is the alphabet they have. Here's a close look. Now I will show you hieroglyphics and numbers. Now here's the two pictures together that we just showed you. Egyptians invented the world's first paper. 
They made paper from papyrus, a reed that grows along the Nile. Our word paper comes from the Greek word papyrus. Scribes wrote in ink on papyrus sheets. This was much easier than pressing letters into wet clay, as the Sumerians had done. Papyrus sheets were also easier to transport than pieces of stone. This is an example of papyrus. And here's some writing that, like, her husband done. I think. Let's see. Papyrus. Papyrus. And whatever it takes, it takes. Leave it all a little bit. You know I won't drop, I won't drop, I won't drop. Like everybody else does. Wait. Forget about your friends, they don't.